good evening. It's Sonia coming to you live tonight with a quick DIY project. I'm actually going to work on jazzing up this box into what is going to become a space for me to store like my bangles, bracelets, that sort of thing. So I thought I'd come on here live, give you guys some inspiration because, you know, you can find a box pretty much anywhere, right? So um, I figured it's something pretty common I can share with you guys. And you can start thinking about things that you have around the homes that you might be able to do something similar with. So as you guys come on here, please say hello to me tonight. Say hey and tell me where you're coming from because we've had a lot of new people join our page tonight, right? Or join our page recently. And this page is just all about repurposing, upcycling, painting, um, you know, working with things on a budget, saving money, uh, maybe painting things that you have around the home just to give new life to them and longer life to them so that you not you can you can not just like like them, but you can love them again, right? So I see you guys. Uh, it says Facebook is building an audience for me. So please say hello. Oh, hey, Robin, I see you. Good. Okay, that's awesome. Now I know you guys are seeing me. And be sure to hit share below because if you um, have a friend who loves to, um, you know, craft, DIY, you guys want to get together, here is a quick inspiration idea for you guys that you could do together. And also if you just have friends that look, like this sort of thing, you guys know that I always come on here and do lives and just do uh, things to give you guys some inspiration. So this is a box, okay? So I have become, hey, Barbara from Texas. Texas girl. Okay. You like watching me craft? Oh, that makes me happy. Thank you. So, um, this is a box. Okay. That came from my neighbor. I have become that person in the neighborhood. Hey, Dolores. Hi, Carrie. Hey, Kay. Um, the, I've become the person in the neighborhood that, uh, if anybody's getting ready, rid of like anything wooden, give it to Sonia. She'll take it. She'll paint it, but that's okay because I'm okay with that. Right? So my awesome neighbor, Sharon, had this box. It's just literally a plain old box. And I don't know what was inside of it. I think she said she found that she wasn't sure what it was used for, but it's got like a felt interior. So I don't know if maybe it was chess pieces, uh, like checkers, but it was something really nice. Maybe it was a, a box to hold a game of some sort. Not sure. If you had one like this, tell me if you could figure out what it is. It has a nice velvet bottom on it, but it's just a plain box. And she's like, I don't know if you can do anything with it. So I'm like, heck yeah. So I will come up with something. And I need something for my bangles, my bracelets, that sort of thing. And because we're just kind of like laying it around my uh, dresser at this point. So I thought this could be perfect. I thought about for one point, you know, putting it on my wall. The door could swing open. I could put some hooks in here, attach it to my wall and hang necklaces, but I have more, um, more accessories than necklaces. So for me, it's going to go sit flat, open up, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Make sense. So easy peasy. How are you guys doing tonight? Oh my gosh. We had such an awesome day here in the Laurel Highlands. It was almost 60 degrees. I, I like I was driving down the road. If you saw the kitchen cabinets I was working on today, I was driving down the road and thinking to myself, I could totally imagine this being spring right now. It was the most wonderful feeling in the world. So it's nice to have a little bit of a break in the middle of a, in the middle of winter, right? For at least for us. So what I'm going to do tonight is I've got my junk monkey paint. This is the um, black velvet. It's a nice true black. Um, people love it. Tell me that they like it because it's a true black. Um, and I got the box. You know what? It doesn't even need clean because it's, it's, it's good to go, right? It's got like this, I don't know. It's just a flat it's wood, but it's just like totally flat. There's no wood grains showing through or anything. Don't need to do anything with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to paint it black. So I've got an idea for a design that I'm going to put on it. It should be pretty easy, I figure. I got my hair dryer here with me. And um, so I think it will be a really quick project here tonight. And because this one is for me, I'm kind of happy to get it done. So have you guys been out and about where... Well, I'm sure if you follow this page, right, you guys are all thrifters, right? You guys like to, you know, go to Goodwills, to the thrift shops. Um, tell me, are you that kind of person? Hey, Anna. Hey, Loretta. I'm jazzing up a box for to store my jewelry in tonight. And all I'm doing is just using a foam brush. I've got our Junk Monkey paint. Didn't need to do anything to the box. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and put my paint all over it. And then I'm going to dry it and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. This is so easy. So when you're out junking, you come across things a lot where it could work for you, whether it's a, a shelf, but it's plain wood. Um, you know, that sort of thing. Candle holders, but they're just plain and uh, and you want them to have much more pizzazz or a color or you want them to look um, more to fit in with your decor, right? So you can just go ahead and paint them. The cool thing about our paint, which makes me happy, is that we don't have to prime or strip or sand. 
um, and it'll stick right over. Um, I mean, I actually haven't found anything that it won't stick to. And so it makes it really, really easy. So I want a black box. I'm going to paint myself this cherry color um, box black. And I'm almost done. Can you guys see that okay as I paint this? Hopefully you can. Tell me how your day was today. Was it warm where you are? Like I said, we had a beautiful day here today. Almost um, 60. And I think tomorrow is supposed to be really nice too. All you guys that are on here that live like in places where it's 60 and above all year round, you're like, huh, what's that 60 degrees? That's probably the cool time for you guys. I am so jealous. So, so jealous. Um, most of you guys know, if you follow my page for any length of time, that I'm actually Canadian from Newfoundland, um, you know, an island in the North Atlantic. So very, very cool weather. But I will tell you that I love warm weather. So I think I was born in the wrong part of the country. The older I get, the more I really, really wish that um, I could spend some time, more time around the island, the warm islands, okay? Newfoundland is an island, but the warm islands, the ones down south. What about you guys? Carrie, you got stuck behind a major accident. Black ice this morning? Really? Holy moly, girl. Be careful out there. That's not good. You might hear my doggies in the background. They're talking to me because they are in, um, let me turn off this um, alert. They're in their kennel, which is not too far on the other side of the camera. And I'm this close to them, but I'm not letting them out. So they're not happy with me right now. So you might hear them um, because I've got a very vocal Chihuahua Yorkie. Olga says, great weather. San Antonio, upper 70s, just gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It, will it stay like that now for you um, all winter, Olga? Or do you guys get snow down there? I'm assuming you would, right? Maybe just a little bit. But tell me about that. Ah. Uh, Oh, the mirror behind me, um, Dolores, I actually got that at Pier 1 on sale because you know me, I like a good bargain. I would never buy anything full price. I mean, I would, but if I can avoid it at all costs, I will. So yeah, the mirror came from Pier 1 and um, it was, I think like 40 bucks or something. It was some crazy, like $140. So bear with me. I'm going to turn on my hair dryer so I can go ahead and dry my black onto my box, okay? Hey, Megan. Oh, Mindy, how are you? So this dries pretty quick, and you'll start to see when it dries, because you get this matte look, but I'm going to be doing some stenciling on it, so I want to make sure that it's dry. Oh my gosh, it's already looking great. Already looking great. Oh yeah, Renee. You know what? You could make something like this if you were to get a regular mirror. Frame it out in like wide enough planks that you want to plank it out. Stencil in something like a design like this behind you. It's really easy. Just find a stencil that you like and um, just do it in metallic paint. So this one's done in like a brown metallic and a gold metallic. You can do that. So, so easy. Maybe I'll have to give you guys a DIY on how to like do this for inspiration. And I bought this back before... You know, I was really, really into what I'm doing now, which is like furniture painting, cabinet painting. So um, I can look at things now at this point and pretty much know how to replicate them on a budget. But I'll do a mirror one night. We can do that together. Hey, Maria. I'm getting colder next week. Lower 30s roller coaster was Really? Yeah, 30s would be cold, huh, for you guys. Especially if you're used to warm weather, you're probably like freezing to death. Yeah, Renee, you can totally do that. Like you said, I got on sale. I'm the person that shops the clearance section first before I shop the store. So I'm going to go ahead and dry it all around the edges here. There we go. All right, dry, guys. So this was a cherry-colored box. Now it is black. You can still see a little bit showing through. If I really, really want it to, I could hit it with one more layer. But honestly, I'm okay with that because I'm probably going to do a little bit of distressing anyhow. So I'm totally fine with that. Plus, I'm going to be putting some things on the top of it. So remember when you first start off painting that um, 
even when you're working on signs or things like that and you get carried away and you're like, oh my gosh, my background isn't perfect. It's okay. The background isn't the focal point, right? It's what you put on top of it. So just give yourself, you know, some grace when you do that. So you guys, if you saw my live video at Hobby Lobby, probably like a week ago around that, I was in the clearance section. Go figure, right? Oh yes, yes, yes. You went down the next day and got 90% off Christmas. Yes, that was great, right? 90% off Christmas. That's like almost free. That Hell yeah. Christmas. That is <laughs> My husband says that is Christmas. Um, so anyway, this is like, I bought a bunch of these. Do you remember me showing you guys these? These are regularly, uh, six, sorry, $16.99. So $17 stencils. And I got them for $4.62. So one of my hacks, my, cause I love Hobby Lobby and you guys know how the weeks, um, alternate with, um, 50% off in the different, different section. But you know what? It's always discount time when you go to the clearance section and you could listen is there anything that you've seen in hobby lobby that you couldn't possibly live with you could find so much stuff so anyway i've got a bunch of these and um i'm really in the chevron so i thought i would go ahead and it's supposed to be like a floor wall stencil but i'm actually going to use it for the top of this so hey anna that is a nice ring huh my sister's on here from canada and she gave me this ring we had speaking of warm weather we were at the beach this summer and it was an awesome time to be able to go, go to the beach with my uh, nieces and nephews. And, of course, we went shopping on boardwalks. Anybody been to Ocean City, uh, to Ocean City, Maryland? That's, like, one of our go-to places. And it's so much fun. Because we're cheap, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, probably, like, five hours, five, maybe six hours. Depends on how my husband drives, okay, and how early we get out with traffic. But, uh, yeah, it's probably about, like, five-ish hours from here. And um, so, hey, you know what? We stay in a different hotel every time we go because it's whatever's on sale. This time we lucked into one that was right on the boardwalk. It was awesome and um, got it for a great price. So, anyway, so what I did was the black velvet. It sticks right onto my wooden box. Don't have to do anything with it. Didn't even have a clean it. So, like, how easy is that? That's my kind of project. Now I've got my antique lace. And if you follow my page, antique lace is really, really popular because it's just like a creamy white. It's like an antique -y kind of white, right? Um, think about lace. Um, I don't want to even say buttercream because it's not yellow. It's more of like an oatmeal-y kind of color. So this is going to go in my room. And I'm converting my room over into, like I'm right now, I'm really into grays and creams, blacks, um, very much farmhouse-y, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cherry-colored box. And I'm going to add some chevron, and I'll show you a trick here in a second as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a brush, and can you guys see this? I see all the comments below, so I'm not sure if this is in frame or not. But I'm just going to take my time, I'm going to hold it with my hand, my stencil, and I am going to start to just go ahead and trace over my stencil. Very, very easy, right? So I'll show you a, a quick trick here in a second too, because I see so many people who make signs, make mistakes, and um, it just, I'm going to show you something that can help make your project look much more professional if you're um, using stencils. Um, but let me just go ahead and do this. So this would have been, uh, been really cool too in like maybe a pink and black. How pretty would that be? Um, polka dots would have been really cute as well. Um, teal and black. Even maybe like teal over black would have been cool. Because I'm really into teal right now. So my husband's over there like, mm -hmm. yes, I swear, I always say, and he's not going to get mad when I say this because I swear men would live in cardboard boxes yeah. if it wasn't for us women, okay? Yeah. So yeah, see, yeah, see, what did I tell you? Told you. If you ever <laughs> leave me, I'm becoming a monk. <laughs> so I can't ever leave him apparently. Um, but anyway, you know what I mean, right? We do it all. We do it all, including to the decorating. So who doesn't want to decorate on a budget and make your money go a little bit further so you can go to like places like Ocean City or the beach. But yeah, has anybody been there to Ocean City? Is there anything I need to check out? Because remember, I am Canadian, although I've been to Ocean City a lot. I tend to go, I'm a creature of habit, so I tend to uh, go to the same places when I go. So if there's anything I need to see, you need to let me know. You need to let me know. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Melinda. Working on a box. That's how simple it is. So if you want to make one of these, even though this one's really nice and it has velvet on the bottom of it and on the inside, which is really cool for your jewelry because, of course, it won't, um, you know, scratch it and knock it around. It'll pr pretty much stay in place. If you even have a box and you wanted to do something like this for somebody for a gift, I would just go ahead and buy some felt. Just go to Walmart. They sell felt 
and pick out a color that you like that will go with your color scheme and then just go ahead and make your own and then you know somebody can put their own personal trinkets and that sort of thing in no thank you come on no chicken nugget for me yes no i don't want a chicken nugget yeah, professional chicken nugget I, no 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 i don't want a chicken nugget come on, it'll help i you. don't want a yeah. chicken nugget it'll You're help good. You See, no, chicken nuggets mm, will not help me paint, okay? Num, num, you good. Seriously. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. Feed it to the dog. Duffy, I'm sacrificing my chicken okay, nugget. I'm, I'm going on strike. Okay, I'm going, I'm, I'm like, yes, Duffy, you can have my chicken nugget. My, the dog is really my husband's dog. Um, but you know what? But he loves me because he knows I feed him. So he's usually my, um, he usually comes around me when I have food. But I swear, I'm going to tell you that any Tizers, and you guys are going to think I'm crazy when I say this, but our dog is a senior dog when we're talking about Duffy. And I swear, like, if it wasn't for chicken any Tizers, I don't know if he would be here. Chicken, we laugh, we say chicken any Tizers. Any Tizers, like those little chicken, it's boneless the chicken. Mortality. Yeah, it must be the fountain of youth because it has kept our God loving. He's got like barely any teeth left in his head. But he, he eats those nuggets and he comes to life and he gets a hop in his step like there ain't no tomorrow. So I don't know what they put in him, but yes, he's hopping around here because I'm saying the words right now. Yeah. See what happens? Ooh, this is looking pretty. Okay. Now I'm going to pull this off. Pull, pull, pull this off. Okay. Ooh, pretty. I'm going to do some touch-ups here. So I want to show with you guys really quick. You see how it's turning out already? It was just a plain box, right? But now it's got some chevron on, which I really, really like. Put some pillows around the room um, that have chevron in it, and it's going to like pull it together. But here is a trick. When you get stencils and they have this break in them, you're supposed to paint over them. They are like that. They're called bridges to keep your stencils in shape, okay? So when you paint and you know how like, for example, if I were to do an S and I'd see like little lines down through, um, that's because they expect you to stencil and then take your brush after and go ahead and connect those chevron pieces or the letter or whatever it might be. It's when you leave, when you leave them open, so always connect your bridges, connect your bridges. If there's anything I've told you, um, from watching this video is connect your bridges girls so you do that and it just makes a much more professional look so it is a pet peeve of mine when I see homemade signs for sale and the person did not know they use a stencil and they did not know that they were supposed to connect their bridges and you can see the difference that it makes when you take the time to do that it gives you a nice professional look Renee, this is it looks good. Hey, good. Spring Fest at Ocean City. Cape May. Oh, my Lord. Cape May is nice. Cape May for an awesome beach vacation. Yeah. So, yeah. So, it's my goal to, like, see a whole lot of beaches here in the Where U.S. Is that the one we did a day trip to? Yeah, Cape May. Yeah. It's Cape May. It's the one with... You have to pay to get on the beach. Oh, with the big, beautiful homes on the beach? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I went to that one for a quick... My husband actually took me on the scenic route, and we uh, did a uh, drive up the coast, and the homes there, the condos, I guess, were absolutely beautiful. I could totally see myself going there for a week and just, you know, totally just hanging out every day at the beach, taking a bike ride, walking. That was just beautiful. So the beach is where I'm from. We have beaches up north, but they're rocky beaches. Um, so it's not sandy beaches. It's very beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful landscape, but it's not quite the same as going to the hot beach. All right, let's see. What are you laughing at? <laughs> the hot beach. The hot beach, yeah. There's the cold beach. There's the North Atlantic Canadian cold beach. And then there's the tropical tropical uh, beach. Uh, I okay. The beach yeah. with hot people in it. That's probably why I was never allowed to go. <laughs> the hot beach, yes. Only hot people are yeah, allowed at the hot beach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not allowed. Anybody else feeling a little fluffy in the new year and um, decided to uh, eat a little healthier 
me and my husband, we have gone back to the gym. This is week two. And, um, yes, I had M&Ms earlier. So, you know, I don't have a whole lot of self-control when it comes to chocolate. But I'm trying, right? But anyway, maybe maybe, maybe we can make it to the hot beach come, um, <laughs> we'll be allowed on the hot beach come um, beach bikini yeah. weather. Yeah. We can only hope, right? Yeah. We can I, only I hope. I wouldn't put your mind. We're just going to support each other and hope for the best, okay? Yeah, hey, Kelly, how are ya? Oh, yeah, Robin. Yeah, absolutely. Connect your bridges, girl. So I've got one more thing I think I'm going to put on here. But tell me what you think so far. Are you seeing it come together? This is our this is our senior dog, Duffy. Duffy was a rescue. He's in rough shape. But let me just tell you. See, the other dogs are, like, growling. I don't know if you can hear that or not because they're not happy that uh, Duffy gets all this attention. He's going to be dead. Okay, all right, sounds good. <laughs> sounds good. Do you guys have jealous dogs? So anyway, yeah, Duffy's living the good life. Duffy gets to go upstairs right now and uh, lounge uh, with his master and eat uh, chicken antitizers. So you know what? We can only hope for, for one day to live the dog's life. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. I like how that's looking. I'm going to do some distressing after it's all dried. But let's see here. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, getting a Nutribullet. I got one. I got the, yes, I have it. I actually have had it since last year, and I love it cause, because it's so hard. I don't know about you, but if I looked at, if you gave me two oranges to eat and a banana and said eat those, it would be tough. Whereas if I were to take them and to blend them and to, um, you know, or to make like an orange Julius out of them, and you can even like, you know, slip some spinach in there. Um, anything like that, I am more prone to eating my veggies when it's in a smoothie form. Love, love, love. But yeah, the um, two of my favorite kitchen appliances, no word of a lie, I swear to God, I am in love with George Foreman. Don't tell my husband, but I love George. The George Foreman Grill. I heard that. <laughs> he heard that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, that George Foreman grill is like the best invention, the best invention ever. And the Nutribullet as well. I, those are just two kitchen appliances that I don't think I could ever live without. And once you've had it, it's like, it's, it's so much easier than turning on an entire oven when you just want to do a chicken patty or, you know, whatever it is that you're working on. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So let's take a look here. Can I drop this in here? I think I can. Well, maybe I'll make too much of a mess. Okay. Cool, right? What do you think so far? So remember, this was just a cherry colored box. Now I'm going to dry this and do one more thing with it. Okay. So bear with me. I'm going to dry it. This is the other invention I can't live without, the hair dryer. When you have this much hair, and you do paint projects, you need a hair dryer. And our paint dries really, really fast. Um, it dries to a chalky finish. So I can tell when it's dry because it gets this really matte look to it. You have a George Foreman grill, like grill. Kelly, are you in love with George? Hey Beverly, how are ya? Almost done. Okay, so true story. I don't have my sand block here with me at home. I left it. What I want to do tomorrow is sand off my edges. I can also run sandpaper over the entire thing or on spots and really make it look a little bit more aged and worn, which is, I love it, right? I'm a girl who loves to distress. So I'm going to add a little distressing to it, but I'm going to do a little extra tonight too. You guys know how I like to reuse things that I find versus going out and constantly buying things. And one of the things over Christmas I purchased was a bunch of these really cool for a buck. These are at the Dollar Tree. They are self stick rhinestones, the bling bling. So I thought, you know what, on these Chevron, li Chevron lines, how cool would it be, let me find the end here that opens, how cool would it be if I put a little bling bling on it? 
because it's a jewelry box after all. So I thought about doing like my monogram, that sort of thing. And oh, just to let you know, these are are available right now. If you decide to go that route, doing a monogram, um, I found these at what's it called? Not, there's a Dollar Tree. There's the Family Dollar, the Dollar General. They are a whole pack for I think it was two bucks, so 72 pieces. They are glitter stickers, okay? So I could do something like this here, and I could put my monogram. I really, really like this, but I thought, you know what? For gold, I probably would do this like with a teal or something like that, but because I'm going black and white, I've decided to go ahead and go with the rhinestones, okay? So I'll show you what I'm going to do. Just to put a little extra personality on them, all I have to do is cut them in lines. They already will stick together if I cut them in lines. Has anybody used this before? Anybody... Um, Anybody ever tried this, like the bling bling rhinestones? They're so, so easy and they'll stick right on as well. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay, let me cut a few more of these. Just cut them and stick them on. I love easy projects that only require a couple things. So this was a box, two colors of paint. Um, I used a stencil to get my chevron lines. If you don't, didn't, don't have a stencil, you could use um, painter's tape. And all you do is just basically create your, your chevron as wide as your tape is. You know, you could get wider tape depending on how wide you want your chevron to be. And um, basically just do your chevrons, like, you know, what Charlie Brown would have on his shirt. Pick your colors really, really easy. And we are almost, almost done. Let's see how many that gives us. Okay. Put this on here. I know, I think the bling really, really sets it off. And I can fill it in a little bit later here, but let me just put a bunch down so we can see how it's all coming together. Yeah, I think that um, the rhinestones just make it a little more, more special. Um, like I said, these were just a buck at the Dollar Tree and they had them over Christmas. And if you're looking for them, they are right at the checkout, you know, those end caps that they have where while you're standing there waiting to check out, you can't help but buy stuff um, because it's that close to you. So I saw this and I'm like, don't know what I'm going to use this for, but I like it and it's only a dollar. So you know what? I can still afford that vacation to the beach <laughs> without using up um, a ton of money. So that's why I picked it and it came in handy tonight. Oh my gosh, guys, this is going to be so nice. So I'm just going to follow the shape. So I would say like, depending on whatever stencil you go with, because remember you could do polka dots, you could do polka dots and put one of these bling blings, just cut them like individually. Like you see how those just kind of fell apart, um, cut them individually and then put a, um, like a little bling in each polka dot. That would be easy. This is a project that you can do for yourself if you have little girls, um, if you want to gift something for somebody. Maybe if you just have a box that you've been holding on to, not sure what to do with it, and you just want to use it for something um, to keep something in, you know. This would be a fun box even to, I'm just thinking that what you could put in it, like pictures or um, even use it as a craft box. But I really, really like it. And I can still do some distressing tomorrow around my my chevrons. And the cool thing is that these are really, really easy to work with. Okay. Ooh, it's getting there. Can you guys see that? I'll pull it up close so you can really see it here in a second. Absolutely. And please share this video if you have friends who like to... DIY, like ideas, and especially like ideas that are on a budget and are budget friendly. That would be awesome. Hey, Tanya, how are ya? All right. Ooh, this is coming together so, so nice. I'm loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. I think that's the McDonald's logo that I'm singing here. There we go. So you guys like to craft winter time, like when it gets this time of the year where you just, you know, it's January, right? Now today we were blessed with such a nice day out there, but when it's this time of the year and it's cold, I don't know about you, but I like to spend my evenings just doing this sort of thing. 
you know what, I was just thinking this box would also be really cool to do something like this for yourself if you um, like to, for example, um, cross stitch or you sew, that sort of thing. And um, you could personalize it for yourself. You could use, like I said, the, the glitter letters if you wanted to put like the word sew, for example, S-E-W on it or something like that. That would be really, really cute. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm almost done here, guys. And then I'm going to show you one other quick thing. These are going to go in the same room with one other jewelry box that I have. And I'm going to show you really quick how to do a jewelry box transformation. So if you guys, anybody here keep their, um, let me show, I should ask, what do you guys usually keep your jewelry in? Oh, let's see. Oh, thank you, Kim, for sharing. I appreciate that. Yes, uh, Dolores, I painted the table behind me. I painted this, oh my gosh, uh, quite a few years back. I've been painting furniture for a long time. And this is actually just a little stand that um, my husband's mom made. And, um, you know, it was just brown and I wanted to incorporate it in, incorporate it in our home. She's no longer around anymore. And thank you, Jenny, for sharing. Um, and she said she's no longer around anymore and I could not bring myself to, um, you know, get rid of it. Heck no. And so what I decided to do was put some color on it so that way, um, I could love it really in my home. So it stays here and um, the top actually flips up on it. It's really cool. And that way I can like just store little things in it, store my candles in it, that sort of thing. But it was just brown, put paint on it. Do you see it? And it just sits there. So you know me, I like my color. So that one is like a, a melon, a melon ready kind of color. Maybe a melon, cor melon coral kind of color. And uh, I love it. Color makes me happy. Okay. Oh, guys. I'm almost done, I promise. Almost done, I promise. This should be my last snip here. Last snip. Let's see. But, yeah, do you guys keep your jewelry in jewelry boxes? Do you use, um, like, for example, an old window with chicken wire, that sort of thing? What do you use to keep your jewelry? I find that um, unless I store it in something, it gets, it gets really tarnished. Do you guys have that problem? So this is going to be nice because it won't be, you know, I won't have my, all my bangles in a bowl, bowl touching each other. And, um, hopefully they'll, they'll stay longer, you know, and not all my, not all my jewelry is like, you know, silver or gold. I wish I could say it was, but I like to buy a lot of fashion jewelry too. So it's the cheap stuff, right? That you see and you wear and, um, it can tarnish quickly. So when you have something to be able to keep them a little more separated, they just seem to be able to last longer and not turn green so this should really help me out this should really really help me out okay all right i'm going to tip this up so you guys can see it that is it i think i've got it filled totally totally filled there we go let me stick this i'm going to stick my rhinestones on my hair dryer all right can you guys see it Ooh, pretty 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 i love it i love it so I'm going to let this sit, and then uh, tomorrow I will get some, oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. I can go ahead and get some, um, like, sandpaper, and just do some little distressing on it, and that way, cool, so I love it. So it will go on my dresser, I can flip it up, and there we go. Pretty cool! I love it. So here's a really, really quick thing. And by the way, what do you guys think of that? Is this something that you guys would do? Just decorate a box to put your, your personal items in? Really, really easy. So I want to share with you. How many people out there have like little jewelry boxes like this? This one is one that um, I was gifted. Still got my jewelry in it. I'm going to paint it with it in it anyhow. So I'm going to share with you really quick. So if you want to flip something like this, if you have like, for example, an armoire, you could have a big armoire, whatever, whatever it might be. This is actually nice projects if you're learning, just learning how to distress paint. When you have things like this, this is perfect for it. So I'm going to show you how easy it is just to add some color. So I'm going to use our antique lace. You do DD? Oh, good, Renee. You would try that? Good. So you know what? I'm not taking the hardware off of it. It's okay. The paint will stick right onto the hardware as well. And this is all I'm going to do. Let me see here if I can paint it kind of backwards. I'm going to just rub some paint over it. So if you want to get a distressed look, 
literally all you have to do is just brush your paint over the area and don't worry about getting it totally covered. So you guys saw this jewelry box. I'm just adding paint. Didn't do anything with it. It's got this shiny, shellacky kind of finish on it. You know what? The paint's going to stick right onto it. And I'm just going to kind of go sparing with it. I'm going to go a little bit around the handles as well. I want it to be covered. I'm go all over it here. I'm not going to trying to be OCD about it or anything. But tonight I'm in this mood to just get my jewelry in order. So I figured I might as well just, this is going to be on the tape on my dresser with the other piece that I just did. So I'm just going to put a splash of this color on it because it is the same color that is in that chevron box that I just repurposed into a little jewelry box. So again, no priming, no prepping, no sanding. There might have even been dust on this. It's okay. You know what? It's not there anymore. It's painted over. All right, drop that down a little bit. Just using just a, a regular brush. When you use this paint, you don't have to like spend a ton of money on a on like a thirty dollar um, special brush. I love to use chip brushes. If I had a chip brush, I probably would just pull that out right now. But I'm at home, not at my shabby shop, so I don't have all my tools with me. But I do have this brush, so it will work for me. All right, you guys see that already? It's changing color, right? So from the wood to the antique lace and then once it dries tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and take my sandpaper and just rough it up a little bit and give it some distressing. I'm gonna go over it like I said all the handles. So yeah so if you are out and about and you're junking and picking and you find these sorts of things I couldn't tell you how many jewelry boxes I've actually sold at my shabby shop because, you know, we all need things to organize our pieces in. And you put like a color, like we have colors, for example, like Bahama Jade, which is like a really, really vibrant teal. And you could have a jewelry box that's in perfect shape, but it is wood, right? And it's beat up and it's like old beat up, like old fashioned looking. You put a little bit of color on it and before you know it, it's like taking shape to be a whole other thing. So that's always a lot of fun. If you need something like this, don't go out and buy a jewelry box that costs a fortune. Just go junkin, find one, add a little paint onto it. And I, like I said, I just kind of like, I'm gonna get that spot too. I just kind of threw it on there tonight. My jewelry's still inside. And once it dries in the morning, I'm gonna do more distressing. I'll take a picture of it so you guys can see it. And we're going to let it set. It's already starting to dry now, but I'm not going to rush it. And it will be perfect. So now I don't have to look at wood anymore. Brown wood. Love the piece. Got a lot of little drawers for my rings and stuff like that, but just wanted it to match. So there we go. Cool, right? So now I've got my, my, what do you call it? My little kind of armoire. My little jewelry box and it matches this so when I lay this side by side it's gonna look really pretty so I'm gonna do some distressing like I said make this come together like a really cool little set and I think I'm gonna have an awesome display for all my bling bling so there you go easy peasy you guys have any questions let me know if you do um, you can message me as well our shabby shop is open for winter hours even though we work pretty much every single day but our retail space is open now on Fridays through Sundays um, but you guys can always reach me here through Facebook because I'm always here. So hopefully I give you guys some inspiration tonight. Find something. This week I want you to find something around your home that you want to paint, okay? Paint your jewelry box, paint frames, paint candlesticks, something that you've been looking at. Maybe you've already taken them away from your area and you've put them in your basement. You've put them in the garage because you're not sure what to do with them. You like the shape of them. Don't like the color of them. Just paint them and before you know it, you'll be happy with them again and you didn't have to spend the money to go out and buy a whole new set, right? So this is what this page is all about. So there is your day, daily dose of DIY inspiration. I'll talk to you guys on here again soon. Oh, I got to show you. I'll give you a quick um, upcoming um, advertisement for what we're going to be doing. How cool is this? This is some um, napkins I found at Hobby Lobby. 
yellow tag on discount for a buck, buck seventy. And I love that. Look at that decoration that's in that. How cool and modern does that look? Anyway, I'm going to show you guys a, a really, really fun DIY that you can do with napkins. And you can do it for any season, that sort of thing. So be sure to stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe that you so you get my notifications when I come on live. All right here. Dolores, I didn't even sand it, girl. I just took it off my dresser and painted it. Don't even have to sand it. If you really want to, you can. Um, but our paint is made so that you don't have to prime or uh, sand or prepper any of that stuff. But if you were to sand, like for example, if you have a piece that is really, really exceptionally shiny, maybe it's made of a material, maybe it's plastic, I don't know. Uh, but if it's made of a material and it absolutely is not any wood grain, you can take a sand pad. My favorite to use is a 60 grit, okay? It's like a medium, it's not a light grit, it's, it's more of a medium coarse grit and uh, just kind of like buff it a little bit. Think about when you get your nails done when you go to the salon and they buff your nails a little bit, not because you know they need to take the actual nail off, but because um, they just give little teeth to it, so that way, a little tooth to it, so that way when they flip the nail polish over, it gives you longer durability. But you don't have to, but if you want to, you can totally um, just sand it. And again, when you sand, it's not because you're trying to take the finish off, but you're just kind of buffing it a little bit. So you can keep that tip in mind too. So fix your bridges, fix your bridges, fix your bridges. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. And if you don't know what that means, go back and watch it. Okay. So you can be in the club too, in the know-how. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.